That's a scene from Batman Mask of the Phantasm, a Batman animated feature that was made in 1993, and Roger and I never reviewed it, and as far as I'm concerned, we made a big mistake, because it's terrific. I enjoyed it more than the current Batman adventure that's in theaters, and I kind of like that picture. This film, however, is really smart and beautifully drawn and intricately plotted. Obviously, Batman lends himself to animation, and just take a look at the Art Deco-influenced drawing style, the classic cartoon drawing style, as we find Batman caught up in a web of love and violence and guilt. Somebody dressed in a bat cape is killing mobsters. It's not Batman, but his name is now being sullied as a killer. I'm telling you, friends, it's vigilantism at its deadliest. How many times are we going to let Batman cross the line? I'm sorry, Councilman, but you can't blame Batman for what happened to Chucky Shaw. Why not? He's a loose cannon, Commissioner. There's more, including the Joker, who, frankly, was better when Jack Nicholson played him in the first movie, or Cesar Romero in the cartoon show on TV. I don't like this Joker's voice. You're too late, Batman! There are 20 miles of tunnels under this place, and they're all filled with high explosives. In five minutes, everything goes up. <laughs> But it's the drawing style that really distinguishes Batman Mask of the Phantasm. You can really lose yourself in all of these great images as Batman fights against the Phantasm, his deadly imitator. If I were forced to rank all of the Batman movies made in the last few years, I'd rank this one, this animated one, just under the first live-action Batman from Tim Burton. I wish Warner Brothers would produce more animated features from this same production team. I'm sorry we caught up with this picture a couple years late, but it's available on tape and disc. I watch it at home on Laserdisc, and with a booming surround sound system, Batman Mask of the Phantasm was big-time entertainment. I really liked it. You know, I think that the day is coming, and it's also happening with the Disney pictures, when adults are realizing that animation is not limited to an right. entertainment form for children. Right. And that animation can do some things live action can't do. For example, the sets of the city in this movie oh, are seen yeah. more clearly than right. they are in the live action Absolutely movies, true. where they get kind of murky. Right. The exaggeration of the effects and of the camera angles can be stretched and perspective can be played with in a way that isn't available in the real world. And then also here, it's interesting that they really did have a story, more they of a really story do. than the movies. And yes. the, the characters, and they pause, They're and they motivated. think, and they have feelings and motivations, and you get involved in it. I got completely involved in it, mm -hmm. and also it's tight. It's 77 minutes long, every image counts. Remember, mm -hmm. they're spending more money in animation, mm -hmm. maybe per minute, than they are in some live action pictures, and they're very economically done. So you saw Batman forever, and you still want to see some Batman? Try renting this, right? Coming up next.